Hey everyone. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I wanted to do a quick demo of um, how you can use the um, makeup designer brushes, which I've gotten um, over the past, last few months. So, and if you want, I can, you know. You know, do some tutorials um, using these brushes along with um, some uh, products, uh, you know, um, by Makeup Designery and, <clears throat> and whatever you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments below so I can um, so I can kind of, you know, plan around that. So, no particular order, let's get started. The first um, brush, set of brushes I have are two face brushes, and one, of, and one is an angled one, and one is just a regular one. So, angled one is brush number 700, which looks like this, and you can use this brush for applying blush or doing a contour and you can use it with brushes like um, you can use it with a, a blush like like the one that I reviewed previously which is this one, and you take the brush, dip it in, and then, and then apply it to the apples of your cheeks, and, and this brush is very good for that, and, and the other face brush, the second one I got, was, in, was a brush number 710, which looks like this, and you can use this for applying highlighter on the tops of the cheekbones, or even for, you know, blush application, it's very either or. And then I have four eyeshadow brushes, and one brush I have is in uh, number 210 and for this you can use it for applying gel liner to your upper and lower lash line and oh yeah with the um with the 710 brush you can use this for highlighter application like, like this one. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah. So, anyway, back to the eye brushes. So for brush 210, you can use it for applying, um, applying gel liner to, to your lash line, or for filling in your brows and gel liners with brushes like this glide over eyeshadows very very easily and if you want I can do some demos for you using either this brush or another brush I'm going to mention in a little bit so that's the 210 brush the other um, eyeliner brush I have is brush number 100 which looks like this and for this one you can just lay it flat against your eyelid and then do whatever kind of eyeliner look you want to do with it whether it's a winged, liner, winged look 
or winged liner rather, or even a cat liner. <clears throat> and that'll work really, really well for that. And then I got two eyeshadow brushes. And one eyeshadow brush I have is <clears throat> brush number 330. And it looks like this. And for this brush you can use to apply on your onto your lid. And maybe even if you want to do like a cut crease type look. You can use this brush for that. And the last eye brush I have is brush number 810. And it looks like this. And for this brush, you can use it to apply in your crease or even to smoke out your lash line. Or doing any kind of smoky eye with this brush. So this brush is really, really good for that. And then lastly, I got a lip brush, which came with the, um, with the um, lipstick collection, which unfortunately is no longer in stock. I have to get them separately on their website. And when I saw that, that was that kind of disappointed me too. <laughs> But anyway, for this brush, oh yeah, the lip brush is number 310, and for this brush, you can use it either in regular lipstick tubes, like this one, or you can use them in any kind of makeup palette that you guys have, that, that you might, that you may have gotten from any, um, <coughs> Any kind of cosmetic store or department store that may sell the, that may sell these, and, and you can use it to to dip into the palette and just you know kind of you know paint it on your lips and it kind of gives it a nice uh, lip stain. So so that's for that brush. So. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that, and let me know if there's any, um, anything you guys want to see, you guys want to see on here, on YouTube, and I'll do the best I can in, in doing them, so, hope everyone's doing well, and I'll, uh, talk to y'all soon. Bye!